my friends and happy Taco Tuesday. And a big shout out to Angel and thanking Angel for inviting me in on this Taco Tuesday. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Jennifer Cutcho. My friends call me Jen. And I am a spiritual mindset coach, mentor, teacher. Uh, depends on where we are. Uh, recently, it's been a retreat um, guider. I don't know if that's the right word, but uh, I offer retreats to women. So that's been my most recent uh, third year now. And that's what I'm here to share about, not about the retreat, but about uh, what has happened in some of these retreats that are was unplanned. And that's a beautiful thing, right? When we go into something with excitement and and prep, preparation. So it's not like I've gone in unprepped, but when you open to the guidance that you receive, it is just amazing. And so what I'm going to be talking about in this Taco Tuesday is a combination of something that happened in last year's retreat in 2020, and then this year's retreat, 2021. Last year's retreat was all about empowerment, uh, evolve, emerge, expand. If any of you have this set of cards that I have, I surprised the girls with this last year, authentic self, we, um, we, oh, it's upside down, returning to your authentic self. And they were powerful and there's a lot of goddess energy and um, archangels and ascended masters all coming through in that set of divination cards. This year, it was all about the world needs you. The world needs me, actually. So if you don't know the story, this is what happened. At the end of last year's retreat, we were closing, and I always have a plan, and we go around and talk. But this part was unplanned. And when it got to me, it was sharing about an intention that we planned on leaving retreat with. And I said, I'm no longer going to play small. And I said, I, I will allow myself to be seen authentically. And I said, because the world needs me. Now, that was not planned to say that. And when I said it, I got choked up. It, you know, when you get choked up in your throat and I was like, Ooh, and I kind of got teary eyed and all the girls were fabulous in the circle. I'm like, of course the world needs you. I'm like, Ooh, why was that so hard? And so I said it a second time and it was still a little bit of a, little bit of a challenge. And so I went for a third time and really solidified it and embodied it. And I'm like, because the world needs me. And it was strong. And they're all still cheering me on. Yeah, yeah, of course it does. They do, Jen. And I said, oh, you try. You say it. And then all of a sudden, no one wanted to try. And do you know that as we went around that circle, every single one of the women had just were challenged just as much as I was in saying it without getting um, activated animated, slightly teary, like, why is this so hard? And here I am, the coach and mentor and teacher providing this retreat. And I, not that I'm perfect by any means, trust me, but I got called out on this. And so I had to think about that. Why is this so hard? And at that moment, that was the beginning of a movement. We didn't know it was going to happen. And we hashtagged it, the world needs me. And we started to talk about it again and again and again. We didn't leave that in circle so much so that I started calling in others. You know, it doesn't have to be an exclusive circle. Uh, and, I, and I asked people to hold up signs and say why the world needed them. So the world needs me for my sensitivity, my creativity, my compassion, my vulnerability, right? And so I've got all these pictures that came in and I'm putting together, it hasn't finished yet, a beautiful video, black and white video, um, where if you don't know, my, my master's is in deaf education. So that's why I move my hands so much. And I'm signing the song, but also putting up all these beautiful pictures of women, it could be men, just happens to be have a women's group, stating why the world needs them. And so in August, as I'm, still working on my book. I have two different ones that I'm working on. I was called to stop and even stop the video and create a new deck of cards. And I argued with that intuition and that download. I'm like, I have other things to do, but I know that feeling, that tug, that truth. And so I stopped and out from the collective, from me, this is hard to see because I have my green screen on actually behind me is the outlier collective 
the world needs me. And there are 44 cards in here. I'm gonna try to hold it up this way. 44 cards stating all the beautiful intentions that were sent to me for the video. There are messages like, the world needs my sparkle. I can see some of the women right now as I'm reading these. The world needs my fun. The world needs my patience. It's little clocks in there. The world needs my story. Yeah, we need your story. The world needs my uniqueness. Uh, this is the backside if you didn't see that. The world needs my perspective. I love this one, like looking up. And as, oh, the world needs my imperfections. Mm -hmm. And so as they started to come to be, uh, I, and I had all of the, the world needs me. And then I started to see the pictures that I was being led to. And this is one of them, actually. This is the world needs my compassion. So that's what the card looks like. And how fun that I can use a green screen, right? And be in my card. And here's a beautiful portal. And there's a light source. There's, you can see it blown up. There's trees back there. And there's a lot of messages in here. This empty seat, holding space for someone. This beautiful light, right? This changing, um, old fashioned, uh, changing screen, right? So why am I bringing this to you? It's not just about there's cards out there, right? You can sit and you can create your own cards. These particular cards, when they came out, I have a daughter in college right now, and she's giving me the perspective of what a lot of the kids are going through right now in school. Some of them left at almost 16 because of pandemic and did not return until they're in college. That's a long time, right, of not growing through that period of time. Well, growing, yes, but missing out on that growth with the rest of the world and the rest of your collective circle, right? So there's a lot of uh, challenges that they are facing right now. And so this particular set of cards are called affirmation cards because they're for everyone. They are for any gender, they are for any age because it's a reminder of how much right now the world needs you. And whether you have these cards in your hands or not, it does not mean that the world doesn't need you. Make a list, start writing out all the reasons why the world needs you because your shift shifts everything. It's a domino effect. Your shift of perception of mindset shifts all the people around you, right? How you come into a situation. So these are very, very powerful. Um, this is the first time I will tell you that there is actually a journal workbook that goes with it. I'm going to shift this around a little bit so that it's in alphabetical order. The girls in retreat have been, they're committed to 44 days of choosing a card and then going to that particular uh, card in the workbook. So here's imperfections, right? The world needs my imperfections. And under that comes a channeled message. Today I will see myself as perfectly imperfect. I will remember that perfection is another form of fear. My imperfections make me relatable. And then the question underneath is, what action will I take today to share my imperfections with the world? So it's a great like five minute start to your day. And this I believe what I'm going to be doing is um, to make it the most attainable is do a PDF. So uh, this way people can print it out more than once, use it more than once, share it with someone if you'd like. So that's what this is all about. The world needs us. The world absolutely needs our strength, our compassion. Let me tell you, take some courage to live a life of compassion because it's really easy to judge and to point fingers. It makes life easy when we can categorize good, bad, like me, not like me, right? But that's the shift that we need to get out of. So to live a compassionate, there's my card, Life takes a bit of courage, but I know we're up for it. So thank you, Angel, for letting me share this unbelievable experience. And this is how the best laid plans um, you don't need, right? You prep, you, you plan, but then you stay open without a tie to the expectation of how it's going to turn out. I could never have ever have seen, foreseen this expectation, this end result, not expectation, this end result. And it's pretty dang fabulous so thank you for all the um, people who have sent me pictures that have become part of this collective set of affirmations 
if you have them or you're going to get them in your hands, I'm so excited for you. If that's not for you, write out, write, write out your own affirmations. Write out your own reasons why the world needs you, because we do. Have a great Tuesday.